All right, I'm back at another property here at 543 Royce Street. Uh, this is uh, part of Fontel Place subdivision, uh, 1959 home, four bedroom, two bath. Uh, it's staying around 1,600 square feet. It's hard with the garage addition on it. So uh, I cannot believe how massive this property is, and I'll show you more about that. Wanted to show you the neighborhood. So on a quaint, quiet little road. Just wanted to show you the neighborhood. I'm sure you're familiar with the neighborhood as a whole. Um, this has got me a little bit dumbfounded. I'm, I wanted to point this out, and this is why I started here because they have this this roof. Let's see if it focuses in there. It slopes towards the garage, which is a good thing. And then I can't tell if this part running front to back slopes at all, but because it, it almost looks like a, a I'm sure there is a slope, but it almost looks like a flat roof on this side of the house. But this is a garage conversion. I don't know if the original garage or driveway came in from this way. You'll see in the inside. Overall, it's a good, clean little house. However, it is dated. I don't see anything major with it other than just being dated. You know, we know it needs a new roof. The roof actually, you know, it's, a, it's an Ivan roof, so it needs to be replaced. We know that. They got a little side door on the front porch that goes into that garage addition. Vinyl siding on the exterior. I don't know what's behind there. Um, when I go into the house, the house smells a little old. It's not a bad smell or anything, but, you know, it's got the old ceiling tiles that have like a popcorn finish on them. And I think that's what happened. The original tiles and someone came in and sprayed it with popcorn. And, uh, you know, it's got the original carpet underneath these carpet, as you can see, you've got hardwood floors underneath. It's got this wonderful wood paneling. So this is the front living area. Um, and you could tell older parents lived here. Kids are selling the home, original carpet. It's nice, neat and clean and tidy. Original linoleum floors. It's beautiful. It's got all the colors and floral designs in it. Little kitchen area. Probably they had a table set up here. And then they had this double bar stool area. This ceiling was redone in here at some point. They've got a stipple finish on it. So this was sheetrocked and put a stipple on the kitchen. Original gas stove, and you can tell it looks like it's barely been used. It's very neat and clean. Just kind of a testament to how well they took care of everything. Laminate countertops. I don't know about the storage in there, how you'd get in there behind there, but uh, I'm sure you could. So again, family room, dining room. This is the front, I guess, I've got cords in here for the, um, I guess, family room or, or living area. I'm sure it could be used as a bedroom as well. I'm sure this is what they're calling a bedroom. One of the things I noticed in here was the original panel. It is in a, a General Electric. It's a 100 amp service. So it's a G panel, so it's not an illegal panel, but it's a 100 amp service. And again, this carpet could easily be taken out. It appears from the closet that it's got all hardwoods underneath. So then we're back in the center part of the house, came in the front door over here. This dining area goes out to utility room. We'll go to it here in a second. Coming down the hallway, turn in original bathroom i'm assuming from 1959 again tastefully done it's nice neat and clean they did put some newer linoleum flooring on here at some point newer toilet newer vanity but the tile is all original there's the original ceiling tiles they didn't popcorn this and i see a couple of them pop in a little bit and then straight ahead is the hvac system or hvac closet and this is a gas system here. Uh, I was looking at the date. I did not see a date on here 
um, of manufacturer date. It looks like this is 2018. I just saw it. 2018 gas system. It's a Tempstar. This is the back left bedroom. At some point, they had a window that probably overlooked their garage. They just put some shelving in there. There is another panel there, and I've got to do my research because it's a Challenger panel. From my rehab days, I'm fairly certain Challenger panels are illegal, but I don't know what the age of this, so this was probably part of... They've got AC in there, so this looks up to date. I just got to look up the, like I said, the, the Challenger name to see if that's one of the four legal panels out there. And then the front bedroom, again, it's got the same ceiling tiles that they popcorned over. So this was probably not designed as an original bedroom because there is no closet in this one, but they put this cabinet in there. And then this steps down into the garage conversion and like I said, this is, if you recall, on the front door, off to the left or to the left of the front door, that was an access that walks out to the front porch there. And here you can tell the, I don't know if this is a leaking roof. So this is what tipped me off on that flat roof. You've got some staining going on, some cracking, some peeling. They did run some HVAC ducts up there, but this whole ceiling in this area is stained. So that was what tipped me off. Um, that flat roof on the outside when I looked at it and I don't know if it's a completely flat roof but it would need a flat roof application um, when it does get redone again all original carpet out here so you'd probably do LVP or something like that because this is the garage floor I can tell it's got a heavy pad under here you can see it's obviously worn on the lighter color and then this has got a shower in it Same laminate as the other bathroom. Vanity countertops, popcorn ceilings in here. Again, garage conversion. Step up into this room. They used as a bedroom, I'm assuming. The pink bedroom. Hall bath, front family room, dining room, obviously that other bedroom. And then this goes back to the utility room, which they have a new gas water heater in here. Place for washer and dryer. I don't know what this, oh, here's a cabinet. I was looking at what this bump out was. It was a cabinet just with some paneling. Heavy, heavy popcorn back here. Walks up to back covered porch aluminum covered patio back here this is pretty darn big back here I'd say it's uh, 15 by probably 30 there's their electrical panel coming in that front room over there but you could you could put a football field back here in this backyard it's it's massive sheds on the property and get one to the right and then one to the back of the property over here this is that back area they have another shed but this is the back area of where that uh, I'm guessing where they had lawnmower so I can see some termite damage at the bottom of that door frame over there and this is that roof that I was telling you about sorry I can't get my hand high enough to take a look at it but it doesn't slope like that one over there that I can see so that would be a concern. This door will probably have to be replaced because it looks like it's into the framing and not just the brick molding. HVAC looks good. It is an off-grade house, as you can see. I don't know why they shored something up here on that foundation, but there's a brick behind it, but they put double bricks there.
it's older, it's aged, but it's in very clean, neat condition. It just needs updates. So that is 543 Roy Street, 1600 square feet, built 1959. They're calling it a four bedroom, two bath. I'll be sending this to you and we can talk about it. Thanks a lot.